I've never been able to figure out telekinesis, controlling the movement of objects with your mind. There's no known field that could interact with humanoid brains in this way. And in pop culture, where it is possible, we have a hard enough time just figuring out how strong telekinesis is supposed to be. But we can get an idea of this from Stranger Things protagonist, Eleven. And her efforts in the telekinesis space put her amid the pantheon of mental manipulation greats, even those in a galaxy far, far away. We've seen Eleven use her telekinetic powers in a number of ways, but the most impressive use in season one, aside from vaporizing a teeth monster, has to be this scene, where Eleven flings an approaching van into the air. If we can estimate some values here, we should be able to get a power value for her powers. All right, so let's look at that scene again. In the simplest terms, what Eleven is doing here is moving some mass through some height, what physics geeks would call doing work. And work is defined as a force times the distance through which that force is acting. So at minimum, what we are looking for here in terms of variables is the weight of the van and the final height above the gang. Now, according to the Stranger Things IMDB page, the van was a Chevy with a year 19, 81 through 1983, with weights around yeah, 21 to 2300 kilograms. And finally, based on the height of the actress Millie Bobby Brown and where it looks like the center of mass ends up for the van, Eleven lifts the van in total around six meters or 20 feet. Going back to the work equation, if we multiply all of our estimations together, we get 138 kilojoules worth of energy to do what Eleven does. This is like releasing an entire anti-personnel mines worth of energy from your mind, dude. <laughs> Concentrate all of that together ah, and you get the scene in question. Eleven wields an impressive amount of energy, which gets even more impre- <coughs> Oh. Oh, which gets even more impressive when you consider the time period over which she lifts the van. Because if you do that, we'll get Eleven's literal power. Power is work divided by time, and it looks like it only takes one second for the- Oh, sorry. It looks like it only takes a single second for the van to- Reach the, reach the apex of its toss, assuming that it's under force the entire time. Now, if we use this relationship, this gives us a final power rating for 11 of 138 kilowatts. <laughs> I want to give you an idea of just how much power is coming from this tiny lady if she can lift a van like this. Now, if she could hook herself into the power grid, she could supply 35 United States homes. And depending on how big Hawkins, Indiana is, it would only take somewhere between 100 and 1,000 11s to power the fictional town. Hey, hey, where, who's, turn on the backup 11. Thank you, with 138 kilowatts at her disposal, Eleven wouldn't even have to lift the van to get away from the evil Department of Energy. She could outrun them. This power translates into 185 horsepower, the same that a super bike has. I, I, if I keep bleeding like this, I'm gonna die. Get this girl a surprise lightsaber because this kind of power output puts her on the level of Jedi Master. All right, I know a comparison between Eleven and Sith and Jedi, a comparison forward, if you will, is a bit weird, but think about it. The Force users in the Star Wars universe are pop culture's most famous telekinesis users. And so, if you do the same analysis that we did for Eleven for that, ah, every single use of the Force in the Star Wars films, not the books or the video games or the non-canon stuff, you don't get a power output anywhere near what we see the little Ego Eater doing. And yes, that applies to big uses of the Force too. 
For example, Randall Monroe of the webcomic XKCD and the book What If once calculated that when Yoda lifted Luke's X-Wing out of the Dagobin swamps, he was only outputting 19.2 kilowatts of effective power, obviously a lot less than 11's 138. As a comparison forward, 11 could lift the X-Wing the same height in just half a second. <laughs> Much better, me think is. <laughs> Of course, there are caveats to this. We are only talking about telekinetic force use, not jumping or mind control or force lightning. Bleh. And when Yoda catches the Senate pod in the prequels, that might come pretty close to what Eleven can do, depending on the weight of the pod. Still, if we're just talking about power, the physical concept that we defined earlier, then Eleven is as, if not more powerful than any Jedi or Sith we've ever seen on screen. So, simply based on how quickly Eleven from Stranger Things can lift a van weighing many thousands of kilograms, she is not just powerful for Hawkins, Indiana. She is Jedi and Sith level powerful, and we haven't even seen everything that she can do yet. Still, a lightsaber probably would have been more effective against a demigorgon. Because science. Hey, have you ever tried to use the force? I have. You're just, you're sitting somewhere and you're looking at a cup and you're like, okay, I'm gonna try to use the force and if the cup moves, then, I, then I'm a Jedi. I just need to check. Have you checked? Thank you so much for watching, Danny. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Muskwatch Space Program, bye.